Are we lit? Liddy's a titty? Itty bitty titty brigitte? <laughs> make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth. If there is, don't say anything. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga Zane? How are you guys doing today? Happy holidays. Happy holidays, actually. I'm a hoe. No, I'm not. I'm not. Anyway, you guys, how are you guys doing this gorgeous day? So today's video, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a judging new makeup video. Basically like, is it an anti haul or isn't it? Will I be buying it or will I not? Do I like it or do I not? I will say sometimes I do get things that even like things here, I might be getting it in PR, full transparency. That does not mean I'm gonna like 100% like it or I'm like, yeah, gung ho, this is the coolest way we've ever seen. It just means that I'm also getting it in PR. You know, so I can't avoid that, but I'm gonna be 100% brutally honest with what I think about the products and the things that are coming out. I don't know the quality of them, but from the aesthetic and the vibe, like, is it gonna be what I want it to be for the holiday, for the holidays? That's what today's video is gonna be, guys. We're gonna be seeing, we're gonna be judging, and I'm gonna be pulling up different photos from different pages like Trend Mood of new makeup launches or new just products and launches in general to see if it's worth it. Are we gonna buy it? Are we gonna skip it? And I'm gonna judge it. One thing I'm good at is makeup and judging. So those are two things I really like to do. And so we're going to be doing the combo today. I'm fully glam, I'm fully painted, fully living my fantasy. I'm wearing Aphrodite liquid lipstick on the lips right now. I'm also wearing on the lid, Miss Laura Lee Whimsical Nudes, shade Manny on the lids. Isn't it divine? Fuck, that's good. Okay, anyway, that's what today's video is gonna be, you guys. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it and you'll enjoy with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like judging makeup together, if you guys like the gays, hey, you haven't returned you are gay. give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but yeah, so we'll get started on today's video. <laughs> first products first, you guys. I'm gonna be popping up on the screen what I'm seeing so that you can see it too. I'm feeling very like this nose. I did a little nose contour today and it's feeling very snatched and very pinched, very like, you can't say nothing to you. Look at this sick little fucking nose. I'm a who. I'm a who hill. Okay, let's start off first with what I've seen recently. This is the new NYX Cosmetics X Avatar 2 Ways of the Water. Or something like that. Something about water. Paradise and water. There's a big ass collection, guys. There's like two palettes. There's an eyeshadow palette, a face palette. There's glosses. There's highlighters. There's blue body paint, which is kind of... <laughs> Two lipsticks and a face spray. So I don't think Nick sends me PR. So this is something I'm definitely interested in picking up potentially. Not everything though. Let me go ahead and preface that. Not everything here is looking like it's something that needs to be in my collection. In my repertoire, my Sephora. <laughs> that's here in my room. The face palette, that's a need for me. I love the shades of that face palette. It looks so nice, like the four blushes, the highlighters. It looks so pretty. Like I really like that face palette a lot. I love, love face palettes a lot. So part that's killing me inside slowly is the eyeshadow palette, like with the way, like the arrangement of the shadows are, like the fact that there's like circles, big circles, little circles, and half circles all throughout it is really, it's giving me the ick. It's giving me the ick and I can't help it. And I think it's just cause like I'm so about like pan appeal. Like when I look at something, I want to be like, ugh. That's nice. When I look at the pan appeal of the face palette, I think that's cute. I think that's really, really cute. I love, oh my God, it reminds me of fucking Outer Dimension. It's giving me the ick. No, I'm just kidding, obviously not. But I think that the face palette looks great. I think it aesthetically looks really, really nice. The eyeshadow palette, I'm not, it's not my vibe. Like, it's not the vibe, stop. It looks so strange. I like it. I don't like you. I don't like you. So I don't think I'm gonna pick up the eyeshadow palette. Definitely wanna pick up the face palette. The glosses look really nice too. And the highlighters look really sheer too sheer. I'm like, what the fuck's going on with this sheer ass shit? But it looks nice. And I will say like overall aesthetically, I think they did, Nick did a really, really good job on the collection. I'm like, wow, this is like such a nice fully realized collection. I mean, Avatar is going to be huge. I can only imagine the first one was like one of the biggest movies in the entire world for a long time. So definitely want to try that settings right now too. Will they make me blue? Anyway, next products next is going to be this collection with I just like whistle toned and that was very strange. I just hit an Ariana Grande note, bitch. This is the Bobbi Brown collection, the new Lunar New Year 2023 collection. It's like an all red collection and it's looking like roses, like red roses, red rum. Packaging wise, I think it's cute. I think it's whatever. It's not like the craziest packaging, whatever to me. It looks adorable. And I think that if you're a fan of Bobbi Brown, you guys will live, but it's not my fantasy. 
It's not, like it's not my thing. The roses and like the petals, I'm not like into like the rosy petal vibe. Not so much. I feel like it could look cute, but I'm just not a huge fan of like flowers all over everything. I don't know, it's not my vibe. What shook me though, was the swatches of the red lipsticks. Bitch, why does every red look the same? There's like a little slight difference in like the undertone, but every red looks the same to me. Anyone else? Raise your hand if it looks the same. Hello, you could have done like three lipstick and been fine. Like three of those colors. That's weird. That's weird. I will not be picking that up. No, no, no. This collection is so fucking cute. I could actually scream. <laughs> this Strawberry Shortcake X Glam White is taking me out. It's taking me out. It's so cute. I think the color story in the palette is perfect for what it is. Is it the most wearable with like the greens and pinks? Maybe not, like not like the most like everyday wearable color story, but I think that for what it is, it's so fucking cute. The little blush, that cool tone blush with her little, with Strawberry Shortcake's face on it. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? The whole collection is so cute, so aesthetically pleasing. Glamour, you did such a good job with it. I wonder if it smells like strawberries. I can only imagine, it probably does. Like, come on, it probably does. But the blush is killing me. I need the blush. Eyeshadow palette, we'll see. It's not like most wearable color story. It looks like a strawberry, you know, which is the vibes. It's the fucking vibes. But I don't know if it's my color story, you know? But the lipsticks look cute, the glasses look cute, the blush, I'm like, I need it. I need that little pink blush, that little bitch ass blush. Yeah. The new Fenty Skin, new plush pudding intensive lip mask recovery. Lip mask. I'll be getting that. One thing about me is my lips are gonna be hydrated. When you kiss me, if you ever get the chance, the opportunity, if you're ever so lucky, <laughs> my lips are so fucking soft all the time. Like if you've kissed me, you know. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you know, you know. All that to say I will be buying the lip mask. I will always use a lip mask at nighttime. On You'll never catch me slipping. I'll always have something on my lips before I fall asleep. Fenty Skin has such nice products. The packaging I think is really cute too. Like look at that little cute packaging. Are you joking? I love that. It's supposed to instantly hydrate, nourish, deliver long lasting hydration day and night. And I want to be hydrated and smooth. If I don't get it in PR, I will be buying. And you can't stop me. And you can't stop me. A lot of Fenty Skin stuff is really nice. The fat water. Stunning. Delectable divine. Okay, next you guys, we have the Trixie Cosmetics Holiday Collection with the cute little four quads and the glosses. The glosses look so cute. I'm gonna have to cop. I'm gonna have to cop on the glosses, a couple of them, maybe th all three. Potentially all three, if I don't get NPR. But the palettes, I'm just not a huge fan of quads. I've come to realize like, I don't like quads. It's not my fantasy, it's not my vibe, it's not my journey. The minimum I can do for a palette would be six. Six shades would be like my bare minimum to have something to like carry around to use. The lowest I'll go is six. That's the smallest I'll do is six inches. This is the smallest I'll do. Uh -huh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Four is way too little. Three is like <laughs> obscene. Two is ridiculous. One. Now. I think that the quads are so fucking adorable. I love the aesthetic of them. I think that they're aesthetically very pleasing. I won't be picking them up because I just don't use quads. I never do. But I think aesthetically, the collection is so cute. I love Trixie. I love her brand. I'm a huge stan. I'm a Trixie stan. What can I say? I am. Oh, work. The glosses, 100%. And the Jolly Rancher packaging? That's not Jolly Rancher. It's like a, a Tootsie Roll. What's that packaging? It's a sweet. It's a morsel. It's cute. So yeah, that's a hard win. That's a hard win for me. The Laura Lee Los Angeles Holiday Collection, Whimsical Nudes, and the brushes. So I will not be, you know, buying that because I literally have that right here. And I will shameless plug my besties collection. <laughs> and if you don't think I will, you're stupid. Look at this fucking collection. Look at this vibe. Look at these brushes. Are you joking me with this like khaki nude tan color story with the brown bristles? Are you kidding me? And the price point is... Chef's kiss. So good. Laura's brushes are fucking incredible. If you guys have used my brushes and you like my brushes, Laura's are very similar. Look how gorgeous this is. Look how wearable this is. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I'm wearing Manny and then I'm wearing Cloud Blossom in my inner corner. I'm also wearing Cedar Rose in my crease. It is stunning. 100%. If I didn't get it, I wouldn't be buying it. No, it's literally such a beautiful collection. I'm so proud of Laura for doing this one. It's so fucking fire. It's Chef's kiss, truly. 10 out of 10 would recommend and it's available now. The new Billie Eilish 
fragrance. The all black body with the titties and the neck and the nose and the mouth. I don't have the gold one. I never used it. I never tried it. I never saw it. Do you guys have the Billie Eilish fragrance? And do you like it? The first one? Because if you like it, I will probably buy it. But this black one, oh. She went right after my heart with the black color story. My Wednesday Adams heart. Who's watching the show Wednesday right now? I watched, I binged it all in two days. I'm not even kidding, I'm fucking obsessed. But this fragrance looks so nice. It's supposed to be like more of a woodsy floral. My favorite combo is woodsy floral. Anything that I wear, like fragrance wise, unisex, women's or men's, is a woodsy floral combination. So for me, I think I have to get this. I have to. And I like Billie Eilish, like I do. I'm not like a crazy stan or anything like that. Like I love her music. I think she's such an amazing artist. I will be buying this because the aesthetics is getting me good. The fragrance color story, not color story, I'm just wearing. The fragrance story, getting me good. So I'm buying. Yep, yeah, because I don't get that in PR, so I will be buying that, 100%. Let's move on to Miss Kylie Cosmetics and her holiday sets. See, six pan palettes. Six pan palettes. They look really fucking cute. Those color stories are actually really nice. I just like that they're more of a neutral color story and they seem very holiday. Like, they're nice to me. Both palettes seem really, really cute. The little lip kits, like the little gloss lip kits look really, really cute. And they're only 19 bucks for the palettes. 19 bucks for six shades, like that's pretty fucking good actually. I probably won't be picking it up, I won't be buying them myself, but I think that if you're a fan of Kylie Cosmetics, the deal's really good. The little gloss trio looks really nice as well. So I would actually be like, oh, this looks nice. I'm impressed, like I'm definitely more impressed with it than I thought I would be. When I saw it, um, I was like, oh, they're cute. It's a little basic though. I feel like it's a little bit like, sometimes the Kylie stuff can be really, really, really basic to me where I'm like, oh my God, like did you put any effort and thought? Uh, but sometimes I think that's really, really, really cute and thought out. This to me is like a combo of both. I think that's a pretty clean girl, basic color story, both palettes, but they're very wearable and very pretty. And like, that's so my vibe. If I didn't have a million palettes in my collection, I would buy these for sure. Cause I'm not on Kylie's PR anymore. So I would definitely buy these. I think that overall the collection is very cute. And I like the baby pink aesthetic, especially during like the holidays. Cause like, you know, everyone's like wanting to do like red and green. And I'm like, it's not my vibe. That color story is not my vibe, but this I think is very cute. Okay, bitch, can we talk about Miss Essence? The Cookies for Santa collection with Essence. Are you joking me? How fucking cute this is? Are you joking? The fucking little makeup removers, the brushes, the lippies, the, is that a blush? Is that a cream blush? I think it's a cream blush. It is so cute. And there's a leaf blower outside my room. Can you hear that? Oh. But anyway, the Essence collection, I do not get, I don't think I don't, I don't think I get Essence PR, so I will definitely be picking up some of these items. Um, Cause I want to actually do a video. I think I talked about it in my last video, testing like Essence products, or like testing Essence goodies or like a full face using Essence things. Cause I haven't used a full face of Essence products ever. And I also want to do that with, what was the other brand I told you guys? It was Essence and Catrice. It was Essence and Catrice. I want to do a full face of those products. Cause they have a lot of new stuff that I really want to test out and try like a full face of, see what's worth it, what's good. But I'm very impressed with the Essence this collection, like y'all did not miss. Y'all did not miss, this is fucking cute. I feel like it's hard to find cute drugstore, like holiday stuff without it being like too gimmicky and like low key ugly, you know what I mean? This is cute to me. I think they did a great job. Bitch, this Bobby Brown collection with Tokidoki. I have never seen Bobby Brown do something more Can I say that? How could you not say like that's like I've never seen them do something so sickening in the collection, ever. The little unicorns, the little everything, the monitos, the highlighter, the whole collection is literally so fucking cute. I could actually scream. This might be my favorite Bobby Brown collection they've ever done, ever. So I'll be definitely picking up some of these pieces because they seem so collectorable too, like collectorable items. I'm not gonna get everything from there. I'll definitely grab like the highlighter, the oil, do you guys ever get cute aggression where you like something is so fucking cute you could you want to slap it across the face? I want to be like, bitch. That's how I feel right now. Obsessed, 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 obsessed. This compared to like the all red Bobby Brown collection, come on, like it's like two different brands. It's like two different brands. This is a yes. The other's a no. It's a no for me, dog. You're not going Hollywood. It's gotta be no, dog. So this is the Road Peptide Lip Set, which includes all three flavors of the lip peptide treatments. This is Hailey Bieber's brand. You guys, 
The treatments are fucking fire. I'm not gonna lie to you. They are sickening, they're amazing, they're incredible. I'm not gonna be buying this because I probably will be getting in PR transparently um, because I am on Rhodes PR. I just wanna say that if you guys are interested in any of the Rhodes goodies or like trying some of the Rhodes skincare, trying out the lip treatments, they are actually fucking amazing. And I do feel a difference when I'm wearing them. Like. I genuinely feel like they hydrate my lips because a lot of stuff like treatment wise, you'll put it on and you'll feel like drier after and you're like, what the fuck? Did you just drive me out? I can keep using you? Like there's a conspiracy, you know? But this actually makes me feel so hydrated. They smell incredible. They kind of taste good too. Like if you lick it, you're like, oh shit. Like it tastes kind of sweet. This one has a little sweetness to it. I will say like the road lip treatments are worth it. I think the set is worth it. It's fucking fire. You save some coin too. Like the lip set's 58. It's a $64 value. So if you wanted all of them, get the set. A hundred percent, like 1,000 percent. Okay, you guys, this Juvia's Place, the coffee shop collection is so gorgeous. The whole like browns and coffee tones, I just like where they went with it. I really do. I enjoy where they went with it. I love the tones. I love the color stories. I love it. the glosses, how they look. They look fucking stunning. The liners look amazing. The palette looks amazing. Overall, I think that's a really pretty collection. Like genuinely, I have all these colors. I won't buy anything. I don't get Ju Juvia's Place PR. And if you're into like a color story like this, the products are good. The quality is very, very nice. So I think you guys will genuinely really enjoy it for sure. Juvia's Place kind of did that with this. Like they kind of did the damn thing with the coffee shop collection. I love nudes like that, like a wide range of nudes where it's like browns and tans and you know, neutrals and nudes and like beiges. I love color stories like that. You guys already know me. You guys know I'm a copper. I nude lip kind of girl. I'm not nude today though, I'm red today. But I think they did a great job. I really do, they kind of slayed. They kind of slayed. Ariana Grande is coming out with fragrances. Two new ones. Why is it low key? Okay, you know what it looks like? You know what it looks like? It looks inappropriate to me. It looks very suggestive vaginal if you will it looks very <laughs> like i think it looks pussy i think it looks fucking pussy like i do it's mod blush and mod vanilla and i'll be buying both because i literally have almost all the ariana grande fragrances the ariana grande fragrances are amazing cloud's my favorite that one truly is like i'm actually obsessed with miss cloud like cloud and i go way back we go way back honestly worked with, uh, with ariana grande fragrances several times now and they're sickening they really are and ulta carries them i would honestly recommend for sure cloud's my favorite if you can get any of them i would say cloud for sure because that like note story the sense story the frog ron story is my favorite it's, it's like i'm sorry but it is i don't get the ariana grande fragrances in pr so i will be picking them both up because i just I have a lot of fragrances and i just love having them i love female fragrances or like, you know, more feminine fragrances. I love more masculine fragrances like for men. I like to just smell good. And if I feel like I smell good, I feel good and I look good and I am good. Okay guys, last but not least right now, let's talk about Miss Pleasing. Coming out with the Super Magic Family Time Collection. So I'm not a nail polish roller, so I won't be buying them, but those little fucking pleasing bottles, they will take me out every time. They look like little chess pieces. I love, they look so, I wanna show that little ball on my yeah. ass. You know, and the colors are cute. They're very pastel, which I'm kind of shocked about coming out in this time frame. I feel like that this collection would have made a little bit more sense like during spring or summer for the colors themselves because you would think that you'd be coming out more fall, wintry kind of tones for this collection. But overall, I think it's so fucking cute. So, so cute. I like the chrome ball with like the transparent bottle. It's so cute. It's so fucking cute. I think that's it for now, you guys, for all the little like things that are coming out. These are brand new. Shout out to Hot Fire Makeup, shout out to Trend Mood for your guys', you know, y'all's tea, the beauty tea, you guys have the tea. But that was fun. I feel like I have, I don't really ever do like judging you makeup or like a anti-haul kind of thing, but they're kind of fun to do. I feel like I should do them more. Do you guys like if I do this? Like, do you guys like the insight? Even if I don't necessarily have them or trying them out, do you guys like the insight on like hot new products that are launching? Do you guys want me to do videos like this when it comes to like the judgment? Is it judgment day? Like, do you guys like judgment day? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for today's video, you guys. I had so much fun filming it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Have the, amaz the most amazing holidays ever. Um, I know I will. I'm like, I feel like during November and December, I'm a little bit more chill, a little bit more like laid back. I don't really do as much during this time frame because I just like to chill when it comes to <laughs> the holiday time. Like, I just like want to spend time with family and friends and like, I'm a little bit more depressed as well during this time with no sun out. So there's that, there's that. But anyways, have a great night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you.